Hey guys, it's Dominika here from the Journey of Self Discovery channel with another episode of the Real Super Meal series. Today we are gonna cook a pumpkin soup with ginger and chili. Uh, it's autumn, so pumpkins are seasonal now. They are rich in fiber, sodium, and potassium, and especially in antioxidants. So we don't want to cook this for too long. Uh, we are gonna add ginger and chili, which will support our immunity uh, through the rainy autumn. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be fast, so let's start. You will need one small hockey dough pumpkin, two roughly chopped onions, one diced potato, approximately two inches of ginger, sun dried chilies, salt, freshly ground pepper, soy milk. Some kind of olive oil, I use chili olive oil and cheese. Start with peeling ginger. The best way to do it is to use spoon. It may seem strange, but it's the most effective way. Ginger is very fibrous and the fibers are too strong for ordinary blenders. Fibers run along the length of the root. Firstly cut it along and then across to tiny pieces. This step is very important, otherwise you will have problems while blending and soup full of long, tough fibers. Using a sharp chef's knife, cut pumpkin in half. Remove the guts using an ice cream scoop or tablespoon and put them aside. The seeds can serve as tasty nutritional snack and using the fiber strands you can make spicy spread or puree you can almost everywhere so no waste. Now slice the pumpkin and then dice it. The peel is pretty hard so chopping it requires some strength and big sharp knife. Take big pot and heat the oil. Add chopped onion and cook until soft. Add ginger and after one minute crush chili, potatoes and pumpkin. Potatoes are real superfood. They have complete protein and are brimming with important B vitamins and minerals. Now carry on cooking for 8 to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally until it starts to soften and turn golden. Add in the water, the level should be above the vegetables and add some salt and pepper. Everything simmer from 15 to 20 minutes. Set the pot aside and puree the mixture until smooth. Reheat the soup and taste for seasoning. Add at least one teaspoon of soup seasoning like wurzel, salt, pepper if necessary, and soy milk. When you are satisfied with the taste and consistency, turn off. Ladle the soup to individual bones and drizzle it with olive oil, chili olive oil or oil from pumpkin seeds. Add some fresh herbs and serve. As you can tell we are done here. Uh, this super easy process rewards us with good looking, great tasting, healthy and balanced food. We can enjoy it for lunch or even for dinner. Bon appetit!